this woman, the primary rhinoplasty, really will demonstrate all the finesse needed to give a natural looking nose to this woman with a large dorsal hump, bulbous, droopy tip. Join me in this amazing transformation. So Catherine, what are you doing? Uh, I'm doing great, I'm yeah. excited. Great. I am too, we're gonna do some wonderful things. Tell me the three top things that, uh, we're gonna do with your nose. Um, fix the hanging columella, um, some tip refinement, and uh, my dorsal hump. Right, good, and then you can see she has a little dorsal hump, it droops, a little bulbous tip, and then smile. Yeah, and then she has a tight upper lip, so we may release that little depressor septae. And you may or may not have some incisions on the side. She'll have a split on the outside, split on the inside. It's going to be amazing. Okay. Sounds good. All right. You dream it, I'll do it. You know, her top three concerns are is that she does not like her droopy tip, her long nose with dorsal hump, and it's, and it's deviated. So, um, you know, she's got reasonably good facial proportions, but, you know, this eye is bigger than uh, the other eye, and this side is um, uh, a little bit um, longer, this one's fuller, but she's got deviation of her nose, she's got nasal pyramid with the spine, but she's got um, narrow mid vault, Asymmetry of the nasal tip, excess infratoblobule, low radix, dorsal convexity, droopy nasal tip, and the nasal labial angle of the neck about 80. Good. So this is her images that we just did. She was a FaceTime consult, so we did her images from her car. <laughs> you know, and then we straightened her nose, we find the tip, took her dorsal hump down. And of course these are images only, but she'll have more tip projection than this. This is uh, just an image. Remember, under promise and over deliver. So marking, you know, you always do it mid Cayamela and come lateral. And then, of course, you can always see in the fimbria. So you can see that edge right there. Mo, you see that? Yes, sir. You don't need to do much more. See, then you go from inferior, and then you go from here, and then you get the hemostasis building. And then you go lateral. And then you spread in lateral to the nasal wall in your subperichondrial. I mean, you're... Their lower laterals, they're very low uh, to the rim. Forceps. She has a very weak, short middle curl, just like I said, concave lower lateral flat on this side, so scissors. And then we go right on to the perichondrium here. On the dorsum, you see that? Mm -hmm. Spread, and then you go to the keystone area, and then you stop, and then you get a Joseph elevator. And then you get the Joseph elevator. And you go right perichondrial, subperichondrial, onto the dorsum, right, left, dorsal aesthetic lines, not too much, but some, enough to get in your offering. And you hold them symmetrical right here. Suction, caught a little better. Now look at this. Suction, 
You want to get Nirvana right here? See Nirvana? Oh my God. Thank God for plastic surgery. See? Then you go high. You go high. Posterior. I am still totally intact. I'm only going to make a, 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 a rent in the posterior part of the permanent plate of the ethmoid, but very posterior, not inferior. You see how I'm, I'm curving it at 30, degree, 30 degrees coming to the midline because I really just want to get truly, I want to get only the septum. I want to really get only the septum and leave the upper lateral. You see that? Mm -hmm. You see how I'm leaving the upper lateral? And you're pushing down. Watch how I'm pushing down. I'm pushing down. This is my re release, that. And I've now preserved my entire upper lateral. That's very, very important, okay? Down biting of rust. Right, left, clean the curve, clean the curve. Right, left, clean the curve. Angle septals. So, in somebody like this, I'm going to trim a little bit of the upper laterals. I know I can do that already. Hold up. Well, she now has an open roof. Take a feel. Well, and, uh, you know, you take it, you dab with your finger, and then you, you feel it. And, and tell me what you feel. Open roof here. Yeah. Smooth, smooth aesthetic, uh, dorsal aesthetic lines. Yeah. 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 You hear the micro fracture. See, I'm in fracture. I'm just out fracturing. I'm doing the micro fracture. I'll do it for a turbinate like that. And it's always a little wider at the keystone area, so you want to make sure. is trim that portion. But we're also going to shorten our upper lateral for two reasons. One is I want our nose to come up, but also um, so I'm going to shorten our upper laterals. But I'm shortening it, but I'm not I'm not really uh, removing that lateral curl um, ligament. So this side is a little flatter, but same principle. All I'm doing is removing that scroll of the septum at least. And I'm really only taking out you, you hear that? That's the permanent play of the ethmoid. Forceps. And then we take this out. This is the most important part of the uh, septum reconstruction because this is the part that's deviated. Forceps. Look at that. That was the deviated part. Going from the feet of the middle for upward. And look how deviated this is, scissors. Oh, wow. See that? And so we're going to straighten it. We're going to bring that. See, look, immediately by doing that, you will remove this deviated segment, which is right here. And then we're going to suture it into place. It'll be amazing because this, I've now released it posteriorly and anteriorly. So we've now done that, straightened the septum, done the turbinates, taken the bump down. So we and we've also we're in the process now of reshaping the dorsum and then the tip. This side, I'm closing it out. This side, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually fracture it out and close it. You see that she's already nice and smooth. Does that look good there? Yeah. Great. See, that? see, without even having done anything to her dorsum nor her tip. PDS. I'm going to do tension spanning. 
see that you're really tensioning this out. And then this one, the last one goes into the body, which is right here. It goes right into the body. You see that? Mm -hmm. And it usually is wide. It's wider. And do that long. This is the interpural suture, the interdomal. The other one was the transdomal. This is to get that diamond tape. Uh, right. I've gone through, and you can see the internal has a valve is fine. I'm now going through right where my septal extension graft is, and that's very important to close that dead space. And that's helped to give, refine the tip projection. I use a butterfly graph when I see that I've got a notching in the soft tissue triangle. I like to do it. Notice I'm, I'm going to go right into the heart of it. It's a fairly big stitch and go right into the heart of it and reconstruct the deep patangi's ligament cut this is a retrograde alar contrast section Long nose, dorsal convexity, droopy nasal tip, correction, septal reconstruction, tension, spanning sutures, septal extension graph, dual alar contour graphs, butterfly graph. Dorsal hump, deviated nose, bulbous tip, correction, septal reconstruction, tension, spanning sutures, septal extension graph, retrograde alar contour graphs, butterfly graph. Deviated caudal septum, Played feet of the metacura, ailer weakness, correction, septal extension graft, closure of dead space with multiple sutures, including feet of the metacura, retrograde ailer contragrafts, butterfly graft. You were my best friend, didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drift in the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you